WBRP. We are music. Sunday morning inspiration. We give you the praise. We give you worship. Something to think to. Meditate. Meditate. And to get you on your way now. Every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's all about the praise. It's Sunday morning inspiration. inspiration. On Spreaker.com and iHeartRadio. Every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. It's Sunday morning inspiration. We give you the praise right here on Spreaker.com, iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Stream Live at WBRP62017.com. It's your boy, the greatest in South Central, and you're listening to the King Royal Show. Yeah, man. This is First Lady DJ 2Q, Mrs. CEO of WBRP. And on behalf of WBRP, we want to wish Miss Tamika Duncan a very, very happy birthday. Wishing you many, many more to come. And may God continue to bless you. And now the word of encouragement with Tamika Duncan of Tamika Duncan Ministries. Good morning and welcome to Sunday Morning Inspiration Women's Takeover. I am Prophetess Tamika Duncan, where we are here to encourage, inspire you to the next level to go forth in God. So, on the day, we are going to start out with Welcome and Hello October. We are going to do some amazing things this month. We have some dynamic speakers coming every Sunday to give you a morning encouragement, a morning word from God, and understand that we are here to collaborate, to elevate, and motivate you to go to the next level. We are in our fourth quarter, and there are things that that are taking place. There are things that are going to take place in your life. So understand that we're here, simply here, just to encourage and push you into that next level. We have Prophetess Marquetta, Ambassador Darlene, uh, myself, and Pastor Jamie. We are going to be encouraging you every Sunday to empower you to keep moving, to show love. We're talking about faith. And also, we have another nugget from our sister, Farron, where she's going to be probably pretty much talking about grief and how to get processed through that. It's because many of us have lost loved ones this upcoming year and last year. And we sometimes have a difficult time moving forward. We sometimes have a difficult time and keep going because we feel like our lives have come to an end. And I too lost someone this year, someone major that's close to me. So I want to bring on these dynamic women this month to encourage you, to push you, to say that yes, it's okay not to be okay. Yes, keep pushing. Yes, love covers the multitude of sin. And yes, that you are special. You have purpose in God's eyes. So keep going. Keep pushing. And no matter what, that God will get the glory out of your life. And we're talking about healing as well. Because all of us need to be healed in an area of our lives that we choose not to deal with. So I challenge you on this morning to make a choice to be healed make a choice to get rid of the old things that's been bothering you from childhood make a choice to go forth and heal from your soul not from the mind but from the soul because when you heal from the soul then god can heal you in your mind so understand that healing got to take place on today healing must take place on today so i decree and declare that healing is your portion that healing will go through your body and heal the inflammation 
and heal the pain, the aches, the hurts. So we speak healing right now over the atmosphere and the airways. I speak healing, God, to every person that may be listening, God. Every person that may catch the replay, I speak healing over you on today and that you will walk in wholeness, that you will walk in freedom because God wants to heal us, God. God wants to heal us from deep down from the old things from childhood from adulthood from even teenage years God wants to heal us he wants to heal us because you have purpose on this earth you have something to say you have a voice because it's someone out there that may be going through that don't know how to move forward that don't even know what steps to take to move forward So understand that God wants to heal our soul because a lot of us have holes in our souls and we don't want to be delivered from those wounds, from those disappointments, from those rejections. But I come to speak life over you today and I decree and declare that you will be made whole in your soul, that you remain whole in your body in your mind but the importance of being healed in your soul is so vital dealing with the inner issues from childhood dealing with those inner issues that nobody knows about but you and God So in your alone time, I decree that God sends healing on you on today, that God sends healing and that the healing will take place instantly, suddenly, that you will be made free in your spirit, in your soul, that you will become healed in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, Father God, for healing your people. I thank you right now, God, that these people will be healed on today, that they will take that first step and recognize and acknowledge that they need healing, God. I decree healing right now on today, God. I decree and declare healing will take place, God. Cover our children, oh God. Touch their minds, oh God. I speak Psalms 91 a hedge of protection around every person that may be listening that the healing God that you will heal them that you will guide them that you will protect them God from all hurt harm and danger hallelujah I thank you God that you're doing a new thing in this fourth quarter and that things will take place and I decree and declare over every business that may be had in the pandemic God that you will expand them that you will give them strategic planning strategic things to do and to cultivate God that they will be an overflow God of finances I thank you God for sending assistance to people that's in need I thank you God that you're doing the new thing in everyone's lives cover our leaders, cover our politicians, cover our pastors, our apostles. Cover them, God. We send protection right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I send protection right now, God, that you would do a new thing, God, that you would do a cultivated thing in their lives, God, that they will understand your word even the more, God, that they will seek you even the more. Hallelujah. That they will seek your word and apply your word daily, that they re- that you will renew their minds daily in the name of Jesus. So I thank you, God, for everyone that may be listening, God, that you will speak to them. God, that you would speak to their spirit man, that you would speak, God, into their souls, then let them know that you're here, that you're listening, and that everything will be okay, and that everything will work out according to your will, hallelujah, according to your purpose, so I thank you, God, for covering our youth, God, I thank you for covering our mothers, our single mothers, our single fathers in the name of Jesus, our entrepreneurs. I thank you right now for covering them. Hallelujah. I thank you that this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it that we will no longer look back at the old, that we will walk forward into the new. For this fourth quarter, you will finish strong. No matter what obstacles come in your way, you shall finish strong. You will finish strong. That no matter what it may look like in the natural, you know that God is working, that we must continue to trust him. We 
must continue to hold on to our faith. And we must fight. We must go to war. We must go to war and take things back by force. The word says that the violence take it by force. So we're taking, we're taking it back. We're taking it back. We're taking it back. We're taking it back. Everything that the enemy has stole. Everything that you allow the enemy to take. We're taking it back. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. So I thank you guys for joining us on this morning. I thank you guys that you will be changed. That your lives will be changed in the name of Jesus. That your lives will be different after this Sunday and every Sunday, every day going forward. I thank you guys for joining us for Sunday Morning Inspiration. Women Take Over. You guys Be blessed and have a marvelous, fantastic Sunday. You're listening to Women's Takeover on Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com and WBRP62017.com. This is a Defar and WBRP production. Everything you have Make it through the night the product. Fellas gloss the 20s and flaunt the dollar. Worldwide as we glide from city to city, state to state as we cultivate your faith. The jam and trinity, the diamond remedy, praise extremity. Now get your hop on. Listening to the King Royal Show.
I thought my life was about through. Found myself on my knees praying. Really didn't know what I was saying. Talk to you with all my mind. Then you let me know it'll be alright. Never knew. Always open windows for me to see. My purpose is getting the dying for me You will firm, confirm, and validate me Appearance has changed, I'm so brand new Why I'm this way is because of you No other place I'd rather be Than in your love and arms and your company Never thought I'd you in this way In this way Always open windows for me to see Me to see In my life I wasn't doing right Never thought I'd in this world In this world
Hey, this is Billy Powell, and you're listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration on Speaker.com. Keep it locked. Closer than my sister and my brother Closer than my father, Lord, you're closer than any other Could ever be, cause your love is always with me Because you proved your love when you came and died on Calvary You know, love, love me, love me, oh, oh, yeah. better than you Why love me, oh, better than anybody oh, else oh, love me much better, much better, than anyone, oh. better than anybody else. Lord, you were there when this world had beat me down. You picked me up and put my feet back on the ground. You dusted me off because you knew that you could use me. Even though this world treated me like there was nothing to me, Lord, you love me. Yeah. Much better, much better than one oh, oh, so so Much better, much better than one oh, oh, Better than anybody else. I found love when I found him Now I try to find a way to be around him Used to be a time I would try to live without him You could call me shady, I was doing it without Slim But he wouldn't let me lose myself I have roots in his word like I'm ill adult fly On the quest for love, I had thought a black thought He could have threw my soul away, but look at what my dad brought Yeah, salvation is a gift it is Every day I wake up, I just count them like the Christmas is We are saving souls, trying to tell them what the business is I am loving Jesus, Billy, can I get a witness? Yeah, love me much better. You act yourself out for me. I'm a death for you. Took your stipulations off. Said it's unconditional. Oh, to you, I am only going. You took my position. Yeah, love me. Yeah, love me. Much better. Much better. Than anyone. Than anyone. Than anybody else. Much better. Love me. Much better. Than anyone. Better than anybody else.
This is Mocha Bella, and you're listening to Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com and WBRP 62017.com. Which art in heaven How will it be Thy holy name Thy kingdom come Thy will Good morning. This is Mocha Bella, 
with your Sunday morning prayer. Dear God, unless you teach us, we will not know the right way to go. Unless you speak to us from your word, we cannot fully understand your ways. Holy Spirit, guide us in all things and give us wisdom. Purify our heart and make us more like you each day so we can become more like you each day so that we can become all you created us to be. We wait on you to lead us into the future you have for us. We don't want to take one step without you. Psalms chapter 25 verse 5 says, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all day. Thank you for the word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. You're listening to Women's Takeover on Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com and WBRP 6 2017.com. This is a Defar and WBRP production.
Those tears will make you strong Oh, make you strong He's never left your side This hurt won't last, last too long Cause it rained on your parade Seems nobody cares about you anyway Now you're living your life like a castaway Search for strength inside Was it all in vain? Cause the deeper you dig You find more and more pain Don't let your tomorrow be like yesterday Cause I spoke to God I called out your name And on your behalf just ask if he would be there for you. I want you to be blessed. Don't live life in distress. Just let go, let God. He'll work it out for you. I pray that your soul. 
Never have to live a lie. Never have to wonder why. Never want for nothing. You're always satisfied in the peace that His arms will provide. He will erase any guilt or shame, any bad habits you got. You won't wanna do 'em again. Yes, we all can change. I can testify. See, I spoke to God. I called out Your name, and on Your behalf, I just asked if He would be there.
I've been on that stage, kinda in a daze Feeling like I wanna go Anywhere that I won't be seen Do I look okay? Am I really good enough? Do I fit in? Girl, not the way you catch that string Goodbye I can only be me, yeah So go on and let them see That light that only I can shine It's not me, y'all It's God using what's on the inside, yeah After loving and losing, I really see Everything we doing here is only temporary So one more time to catch me up before I'm ready The road will be a little rough, but God will keep me steady. You see, the clock is ticking, and one day it'll run out. Man, you better make sure you ain't chasing no cloud. But rather hit this dark, dark world with your light and let it shine. Oh, yeah, and stop all that overthinking, girl. Everything will be fine.
listening to Women's Takeover on Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com and WBRP 6 2017.com. This is a Defar and WBRP production.
appreciation to her and her services here at Sunday Morning Inspiration. Wishing you many more. Take care, God bless, and enjoy this day.
To the King Royal Show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. I remember Saturdays helping Mama in the kitchen. Conversations frying, baking, and passing down the wisdom. She said, Baby girl, you're a queen, and this is how you should be treated. Words she washed with tears and planted in my soul uh, Can we just go back to the simple kind of living? Can we just go back and maybe start from the beginning? Back to better days when love was for the giving Can we just go back to the way we were? Mama said there was a time were each other's keepers Sisters held each other close Till there was nothing left between them Back when a song was a song You could sing along Didn't matter how long Just as long as spoke to you Sung to you Do you know what I mean? Can we just go back to the
And now, the last word. Hey everyone, good morning, good morning. Grace and peace unto you. It's Sunday, the first day of the week. So I hope that you are ready to rejoice. Today is October 17th, and I hope that your day has began well, and I decree and declare that it shall end well in Jesus' name. My name is Marquetta Marie, and I'm before you on today to give you an encouraging word. First and foremost, I honor God. He deserves all our glory, all of our honor, and all of our praise. Second, I honor my leaders, the awesome visionaries of Spirit and Faith Christian Center, none other than Apostle Dr. Mike Freeman and Pastor Dr. Dee Dee Freeman. Next, I want to honor the visionary of this ministry, Prophetess Tamika Duncan, one of my spiritual sisters. Thank you for the opportunity to speak on your amazing radio broadcast platform. We must do everything submitted under prayer. So let us pray. Father God, we thank you for access to your throne through our Savior and Lord Jesus. Father, as we are before you, we ask you to cleanse us and give us permission to come close to you. In your presence, Father, is liberty and fullness of joy. Father, we thank you for being God. All glory, honor, and praise belongs to you. Father, as you clean us, we ask that you defend us against the enemy. Father, you said in your word that no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, you said in your word that at the mention of your name, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that you are Lord. Father, free us from every stronghold. Father, break every chain and feather. Father, we ask that you open our mind to rescue us and we ask that you open up our minds so that we can receive the mind of Jesus Christ so then our eyes will be open to see and our ears will be open to hear and our hearts will be open to love as our spirit is renewed and our soul is cleansed and healed father cover the airwaves and let this word not be hindered or interrupted let it cause a shift in the lives of the lost hurt and broken let it also cause a shift lord god for the rescued sheep, O oh God, and add to their strength. Let the word be in season to stir up their waters within so you can cause overflow without. Bless them indeed, O oh God, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Y'all, so the topic for this Sunday is God hasn't forgotten you. The scripture verse will be Luke 15, verses 4 through 7. And the word of our Lord reads, what man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one, will not leave the ninety nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he finds it? And when he finds it, he rejoices. And when he finds it, he picks it up. And when he finds it, he brings it home and tells his family, his friends, his neighbors. And this is me and the haters sounding the alarm and blowing the trumpet of celebration and victory of the lost sheep being home. Likewise, heaven rejoices over one lost soul, over one sinner that repents versus the collective body or the 99 saved, which should not need repentance. That's the word of the Lord. So I just want to remind you on today that God hasn't forgotten you. Be reminded of John 14 and 18 that says, God will not leave you comfortless, but God will come to you. I bring you encouragement on this morning, and I want to remind you that God hasn't forgotten you. During this pandemic onset, people lost jobs, so they wondered how would they survive. Then people lost friends, family members leaders and ones they held dear and again they wondered how would they survive people lost hope and trust and faith and mental health issues rose and value of life decreased some people sought death thinking and feeling that the obstacles they were in front of would overwhelm them and they began to convince themselves their way out was not coming but let me remind you, God hasn't forgotten you, dear brother. Let me remind you, God hasn't forgotten you, dear sister. Run your race with grace as God governs you. Turn the light on this morning, the light of his wisdom, the light of his understanding, the light of his knowledge, the light of his love. You cannot be in darkness. Turn the light on. Ignorance will not be a divider to the father finding you where you are. You may not understand the trial or test before you, but I admonish you to stand on the truth of God. And the truth of God is his absolute living word. 
God hasn't alienated you from his love just because your heart and mind or situations have made you rebellious, thus rejecting his love. The father is coming for you. So cast down the tainted thrones of your thoughts. God will never leave your side. God will never forsake you. He's never too busy. God hasn't forgotten you. He is calling you. If you pray and be still, he will come to you faster. God has not forgotten you. Prayer turns the light on. Seeking him helps you to be rescued faster. Acknowledging him releases a signal and a sign that you desire salvation from your present situation. God hasn't forgotten you. Let me remind you. He blew breath to make your soul alive. God hasn't forgotten you. Let me remind you. Let me remind you. He did send his son, our Lord and Savior Jesus, to the cross to redeem and restore you. God hasn't forgotten you. Let me remind you. He has left Holy Spirit in you to guide you. You are not alone. You are always protected. The word says that our father, being the provisional parent, has declared that the angels, more than 12 legions, y'all, be encouraged on today, have charged over us, making us victorious. God hasn't forgotten you. He said that he would leave the 99 to find the one. So he hasn't forgotten you. God hasn't forgotten you. He said he will never leave us or forsake us. God hasn't forgotten you. By his mercy, we won't slip or fall because he holds us up. God hasn't forgotten you. He said that we are the apple of his eye and the workmanship of his hands. God hasn't forgotten you. He sees us. He sees our substance. He sees us. He sees our members. He sees us in our whole being, yet he still loves us. God hasn't forgotten us. He supplies all of our needs according to his riches and glory by Jesus Christ. God hasn't forgotten us. He perfects us. God perfects that which concerns us. God's mercy endures. God hasn't forgotten us. His love towards us caused him to send Jesus, our Savior, to the cross. God hasn't forgotten us. We are his sheep and servants, and he will never forget us. God hasn't forgotten us. God will teach us to observe his law by his love. He is with us until the end of the earth. Hallelujah. God hasn't forgotten us. God is righteous. He won't forget our work or our labor of love to the saints. Or our labor of love and our work for those who he loves. And he loves us all. God hasn't forgotten us. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not. God goes with us. He won't fail us. He won't forsake us. God has not forgotten us. God is mindful of us. He has knowledge of us. He sanctifies us by his spirit. Grace be multiplied unto us when we just obey. God has not forgotten us. He is mindful of us. He has knowledge of us. He sanctifies us. God has not forgotten us. He will bless us, the house of Israel. He will bless us, the house of Aaron. He will bless us, the house of Moses. He will bless us, the house of, put your last name in there. God has not forgotten us. He said that if mothers and fathers can't forget their children that they birth, whether they're present or absent in their lives on earth, then surely he can't forget his children saved or unsaved because he loves us that much. God has not forgotten us. God will not fail us. God has not forgotten us. God will not forsake us. God has not forgotten us. We will not dismay. We will not be dismayed. So I just want to encourage you on today. Do not be discouraged by what is before you because nay in all things, you're more than a conqueror. He hasn't forgotten you. If you may have been sick, he is a healer. He hasn't forgotten you. If you're suffering with financial issues, he's a way out of no way. He's a provisional father. He made you the head and not the tail. He made you above and not beneath. God has not forgotten you. If there has been an issue on your job, he may be about to raise you up as an entrepreneur because he said that he will give us power to obtain wealth. So God has not forgotten you. He's not too busy and there's nothing that you can do that can separate you from his love. God has not forgotten you. So don't be perplexed and don't be at war because God has not forgotten you. Lay your burden on the altar. God has not forgotten you. Try God again. God has not forgotten you. Lift your hands up now and begin to pray. God has not forgotten you. If you pray, then he'll release his angels. They'll be dispatched to do his bidding from heaven here on the earth. God has 
has not forgotten you. Don't think that your sin has separated you from his love. His love is still there and he's willing to pour it out on you and you can receive it if you repent. God has not forgotten you. Repent and turn from your evil ways. God has not forgotten you and he sent me on this morning to encourage you and remind you that he has not forgot. Try him again. Pray again. Read your word again. Have faith again. Believe again. Repent again. Begin to walk forward towards him again. Don't stop on this journey, but run your race with grace because God has not forgotten you. God, I bless you and I honor you for this word that you allowed me to release. Father, I ask that as people receive it through their ear gate, that you allow them to receive it through the gate of their heart. Father, I ask that you begin to pull on their heartstrings and have them chase after you the more. Father, as you take them from glory to glory and from level to level. Father, I ask that if they're struggling with anything, Lord God, that you being the way maker, you being the miracle worker, you being the problem solver, that you will fix it and that it'll have them follow you all the more, Father. God, I ask that your sheep who know your voice will follow after you and that another they will not chase, seek, and follow after. Father, and I seal this prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen. Y'all, I hope that y'all have a wonderful Sunday on today. And just remember, God has not forgotten you. When you see somebody, encourage them that God has not forgotten them. We have to be encouragers one to another and strengthen one another. God bless you. You're listening to Women's Takeover on Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com. And WBRP 6 2017.com. This is a Defar and WBRP production.
new day, brand new mercies. I see. I'm telling you, that's what the Lord has done for me. Ha, for the many ways that you made, I thank you, uh -huh. Jesus. Uh, I'm keeping it day by day. I wanna say thank uh, you, well, Jesus. Tell me, do you really mind if I testify? Thank you, uh -huh. Jesus. About the Lord being my full supply. Thank you, I'm Jesus. telling you.
We already spoke freedom into your life. You are free. And now we're declaring the victory over your life. Is that all right? We want some more energy, though. We don't want y'all to die on us. Come on, put your hands together.
You're listening to Women's Takeover on Sunday Morning Inspiration on Spreaker.com and WBRP 6 2017.com. This is a Defar and WBRP. Come on, make a joyful noise in this house. Make a joyful noise. Come on, make a joyful noise.
but we want y'all to join on in with us. This song simply says, everybody, come on and join with us, and let's praise this name together, y'all.
Everybody just clap your hands like this. Come on, just clap your hands like this. Come on, just clap your hands like this. Come on, clap your hands like this. Come on, clap your hands like this.
all the pain, the sunshine and rain. We want to still give you the praise. Even when I've walked away and refused to seek your face, you've always loved on me. Say, whoa, make that help everything I want. your Sunday morning prayer. Dear God, unless you teach us, we will not know the right way to go. Unless you speak to us from your word, we cannot fully understand your ways. Holy Spirit, guide us in all things and give us wisdom. Purify our heart and make us more like you each day so we can become more like you each day, so that we can become all you created us to be. We wait on you to lead us into the future you have for us. We don't want to take one step without you. Psalms chapter 25 verse 5 says, Show me your ways, O Lord. Teach me your path. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. On you I wait all day. Thank you for the word. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.
Sunday Morning Inspirations is brought to you by The King Royal Show, The Fire, Tamika Duncan Ministries, WBRP62017.com, and Spreaker.com. This is a world class Boss Man Radio Presents production. That's right. It's your man, Fred. <laughs> There's some things God promised in His Word. You might as well claim yours. Because I'm sure going to claim mine. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Everything that's good in life, God promised me. It's mine. It's mine. It's mine.
Sometimes we cry and we don't know why. No why. And we fail, but, but we, we never, never try. try. And life gets overwhelming. But when I am in doubt, I trust that He'll work it out. His love surpasses understanding. His love lasts forever. Hey, Even when you feel like giving up, giving up. joy comes in oh. the morning. His love is everlasting. Love is everlasting. Love is patient, love is kind, it does not envy. It don't boast, it's not proud, it is not sad. Although things may not always look so great, just put a smile on your face. Yeah, expect a better day. Giving honor, God, Heavenly Father. I'm moving to your spirit, control every part of my life and all the drama. Even through the pain, even through the problems, I'ma still praise your name. I got a little testimony, wanna tell you about it. Devil tried to break me down, knock me off the mountain. I told my mom about it, she just started singing, shouting. Said my blessings coming soon, flowing like a fountain. Your face stronger through your trials and your tribulations. But give it all to God, a little time, a little patience. Name it, claim it, your joy coming in the morning time. Keep this on your mind, even on your grind. Take him with you everywhere. You go to keep your soul fed. She rubs some blessed oil on my forehead. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, take control, make him whole joy coming full. full. When I was down here.
It's gonna be alright, y'all. 